All right, Melissa, thank you for the update. Developing now a 13 year old boy facing capital murder charges in connection to a deadly carjacking it happened just outside of a Walmart on the city's north side. That shooting happened on Saturday at the store along Blanco near Warsbach Parkway. Authorities say the teen approached the victim and tried to rob him, only to later shoot and kill 65 year old Mohammed Pazir. Police say the teen admitted to shooting and killing the victim. He's now behind bars facing several charges. Now that teen isn't the only one arrested for gun violence this month. Just last week, if you'll remember, another 13 year old was arrested for a shooting at a west side apartment complex. As News 4 San Antonio Stephanie Esquivel explains, despite those recent arrests, violent teen crimes are actually on the decline. I know if you if you speak to law enforcement officers who are in the community on the ground working, they're going to tell you that they're feeling a lot more um, that there's a lot more violent crime activity by both adults and young people. Chief Juvenile Probation Officer for Bear County Jill Mata says recent shootings have put a spotlight on teens and gun violence. And as we got out of COVID and um, things started happening again, the, the rates have come up. So those rates are uh, you know that we've been seeing them creep up since that time during the pandemic teen crime rates plummeted even though they're on the rise again they're still not as high as they were in 2019 from this time last year it's down eight percent so if you do a whole full year look back you don't see a trend up. Benny Price, program director at the Gang Rehabilitation Ending Affiliation Ties program, says he's working with his team in hopes to keep these crime statistics down. Well, um, they're not necessarily going to say um, why they're getting involved, but we know that it's a culture, it's a gun violence culture that they've been a part of. Um, and we think that um, one of the biggest problems is there's not enough um, youth programs for these kids. Price says his team targets kids who may already be around gun violence. We have credible messages that goes out into the neighborhoods to build a relationship um, with, with the neighborhoods and residents and those who are known to be um, shooters uh, to carry guns uh, and being gun violence. Teens cannot legally purchase guns. Math and Price say gun owners can be part of the solution by making sure their firearms are always safely stored and out of reach to minors. Stephanie Esquivel, News 4, San Antonio.